How about this? Pouring your drinks and keeping you safe. A group of local bar owners are leading efforts to enhance safety through a whole new kind of training. Our Anthony Costura live in downtown Portland. So, Anthony, these owners are trying to restore confidence in the city's nightlife? Jeff, you know, we're still several hours away from last call here in Oregon, which, mind you, is 2.30 in the morning. But several bar owners across the Portland metro say they are now forced to close earlier these days simply because customers just do not feel safe. Well, these business owners are working to change that. Portland is still trying to bounce back from riots, lockdowns, and a rocky economy. Bradley Thomas Stevens says getting customers into his Northeast Portland bar, Sarius PDX, can be an uphill battle. I never know when customers are coming. I'll have Friday business on a Tuesday and Tuesday business on a Friday. And so I'm either understaffed or overstaffed all the time. But aside from inflation and staffing issues. Usually we'd save those. <laughs> Stevens says safety is another growing concern Portland bar owners have to face for employees and customers. It's partly why Emily Roos doesn't go downtown. The homeless population and then like drug use and all of that and it just doesn't feel as safe out anymore. So Stevens is arming his staff with improved training from Safe Bars Network. The national nonprofit teaches workers how to handle sensitive situations like sexual harassment and intervening with other dangerous behavior. And it's not just serious. These eight bars all across the city are also signed up. Hey, the irony here is that this is called head in the clouds, right? But as a bartender, you can't have your head in the clouds. Never can. The main skill of bartending is actually multitasking and memorization. That training may be just the trick that gets Roos to explore more of the Row City. Um, I feel a lot better about staying late at night and knowing that I have people that have my back. And that means Stevens gets to continue living out his dream job. You know, no matter how tough it is, I think a lot of us are going to stick with it forever. Cheers. Bradley Thomas Stevens there is also the vice president of the United States Bartenders Guild. He says he's working diligently to get other bars involved in this program all across Oregon. If you'd like to learn more about the program, we have a link for you on coin.com. Reporting in the Pearl District tonight, I'm Anthony Costura. Yeah, Anthony, I love how they're, they're coming up with a solution, which uh, sounds great. And Anthony, welcome to the Coin6 News team. Glad to have you here.